Hey Far Fam, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an honest review on Olga's Cantina in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Disney World. We recently just went there, so we're gonna be talking about all the things we love and all the things that we didn't love. So we hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything, hit the like button, subscribe. And we're nearing like, what, 250, 250 mm -hmm. subscribers, yeah. which is awesome. So make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. So now let's jump into it. All right, so for those of you that don't know what Olga's Cantina is, it's a pretty much it's a bar located in Galaxy Edge in uh, Hollywood Studios. So the reason why a lot of people love this place is because it has really, really fun and exciting drinks with a lot of cool music and it's all Star Wars themed. So all the drinks are Star Wars related. Like I got one drink and it was Jabba Juice, like yeah. Jabba, mm -hmm. Jabba, what is it, Jabba, Jabba, Jabba the Hunt. Hunt. Yeah. yeah. So everything is Star Wars themed. All right, so now that we kind of know what it is, now let's talk about some of the things we loved and then we'll follow up with some of the things that we didn't like. All right, so the first thing that Lindsay and I and our nephew Jace loved was the fun and exciting drinks. Now there's all different types of drinks you guys can get. Jace got one that was bubbling. I got one that numbed my mouth. Lindsay got one that was just like cool in general. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was the like boring one. <laughs> but it's a really, really fun and exciting place. There's a lot of great music and there's a good variety of alcoholic drinks and non-alcoholic drinks so you guys can go there with kids. You walk in to Oga's Cantina and you feel like you are in Star Wars. You can see the, who's the robot? Um, I think it's like DJ something, I forget yeah. his name. Yeah, so there's like the, we'll put like a clip and everything, but he's in there make, like doing the music. Yeah, doing the mixes. Yep. People, some people are dancing. Mm -hmm. Over the bar, there's like some, you know, really cool looking like. Like aquarium uh, yeah, with yeah. like the Star Wars creatures. Or yeah, like it's, really, it's, really, it's really, really cool. So the cool thing about the drinks is that there is a good amount of alcoholic drinks and there's a good amount of non-alcoholic drinks. Most of the time you'll find adults in Oga's Cantina, mm -hmm. but kids are welcome as well. One side of the menu had all the alcoholic drinks and then the other side of the menu had non-alcoholic and there was just a really good variety. So yeah. even if like I didn't have an alcoholic drink because I don't really drink. Mm -hmm. So I had a long list of drinks that didn't have alcohol in them and then that Jace could also yeah. have as well. So that was really, really cool. So one of the things that we did and one of the things that I would recommend if you guys are planning to go to Oga's is try to schedule the latest reservation because when you guys get out, you guys are gonna have the park to yourself to take pictures. You're not gonna be able to go on any rides, but you're gonna be able to get these cool pictures without any people in it. It was yeah, really awesome. Yeah, we'll put awesome. up some pictures yeah. that we took because no one was there. Literally no one. It felt like we had the park to ourselves where we could go in front of the Millennium Falcon, take mm -hmm. pictures, go in front of you know, Jace, different things. Jace yeah. loved it. He was like running around. Like there was workers cleaning up and a few people here and yeah. there just like, you know, mm -hmm. but it was super, super cool. And when you're at Hollywood Studios during the day, you want to ride all the rides. You want to do all the daytime mm -hmm. things. So it's nice to do that last and not feel like you're missing out on rides yeah. or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So overall, I think Oga Cantina is a great place to get fun and exciting things and drinks and music and just kind of overall relax after a long day in the park. It's but, definitely something to do. It's yes, definitely it's definitely a must do. If you especially if you haven't done it and if you're a Star Wars fan you're gonna love it even more. Even if you're not much of a Star Wars fan like I like Star Wars but I'm not like oh my god Star yeah. Wars and I enjoyed it. Yeah it's just like a fun and exciting place but with that there is some things that aren't the I mean, I don't want to say aren't the greatest, but I wish kind of we would have known before going mm -hmm. there. And there, again, like in all of our other review videos, we don't, we're not pointing these things out to hate yeah. this Cantina or anything like that. We loved it. We, we thought would it do was it awesome. So many times. Yeah, exactly. These are just things that we, we wish we would have known and also things that we want to tell you guys for when you guys go. So the first thing that we did not like is you sit with other people. Now, obviously, if you have a larger party, I'm sure you guys are gonna take up full tables, but with just three people, we sat with a couple other people. I think there was about four other people at our table. And I just think that that kind of dims down the vibe a little bit just because you can't, you know, be yourself. You don't want to be rude to other people. It's not like sitting alone where you guys can be yourself. So you're sitting with others, so. And you do have the chance of getting your own table. Like mm -hmm. I saw three people at a table themselves, yeah. like a smaller table. We were at like a booth. And you do, there's a chance you'll have that, but you aren't guaranteed it. Mm -hmm. So another drawback with 
with Oga is it really didn't affect us is it is a 45 minute maximum time frame in there. For us, it wasn't that big of a deal. We all, Jace got two drinks, I got one drink, Lindsay got one drink, and we still had plenty of time in there. I don't even think we were there for 45 minutes. Yeah, I think we were there for like 30. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys are looking to plan like a long, you know, hour and a half to just relax, you're not gonna be able to do it there. It's just a 45 minute maximum time frame in there. So the next con is kind of a pro and a con. There is a maximum limit of two alcoholic drinks Per, per, per adult that's yeah. obviously over 21 mm -hmm. which that's a good thing because you don't want to be plastered at yeah Disney you don't want to get hammered especially there. with so many kids there and like other other parents don't want their kids seeing that yeah. and that's just like yeah if you are someone who you know likes a ton of alcoholic drinks and you have a high tolerance mm -hmm. you'll still only be able to get two yeah. so it's kind of a both. I think it's more of a pro. Yeah, I do too. I do but too. But I it's guess it could be a con for some people. Especially after like a long day in the heat and sun, you probably yeah. haven't ate a lot. So two drinks, I'm sure you'll, yeah. you'll feel it. You can get more than two drinks of non-alcoholic drinks. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could get two alcoholic drinks and then maybe a couple yeah, yeah. or one, whatever. But we had, Jace had two and he was like full. Yeah. I had one and I was like good and Carter mm -hmm. had one. So I really don't think you even need more than two drinks to be honest, but. Another con with Oga's is it's gonna be loud, it's gonna be crowded and it's gonna be busy. So if you're looking to just find a place that's calm and settling and you just wanna relax, maybe this isn't the best option. But if you're just like still in the mood for like a park, Disney, mm -hmm. Star Wars theme, this is gonna be fun and exciting. Some people like after the park to just go in somewhere quiet and sit and this get is not dinner. intimate. Yeah, this is just like a fun we were, Disney thing. We were yelling at each other. We yeah. were right next to each other. I know. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? So bad, I want to meet really bad. So another con with Oh guys, is it's gonna be expensive. You're gonna be spending anywhere from ten to about twenty dollars per drink. Yeah. So if if you're looking to you know be a little more budget friendly, you know maybe just stick to one drink or split drinks because you guys can do that there too. Uh, but it's gonna be expensive. You're at Disney and you're at you know a bar at Disney. It's gonna be expensive. So the next con is that you have to make a reservation far in advance. Mm -hmm. I suggest doing it maybe 60 days before you go on your trip. Yeah, they book very, very fast as well. Mm -hmm. So especially if you wanna get those later hours, yeah. I found that those book up quicker just because people wanna be there when the park closes. So try to book it as soon as you guys can. And you guys can always modify your changes on the yeah. Disney app as well. So if you book it later in advance, and maybe you guys decide you wanna do something earlier, you guys mm -hmm. can adjust it there too. All right, pretty much the last con with Oga's is if you're looking for like a dinner place, this is not gonna be it. They have very, very little food. They almost have more like snacks or appetizers. It's pretty much what, a charcuterie yeah, board a charcuterie and board. one other thing. It's not like a meal. It's not like individual meals, like chicken nuggets, cheeseburgers, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's just like something you guys can split. This is more of a drink place rather than a food place. So those are kind of the pros and cons and everything you must know about Oga's. Now, if I was going to give it a, you know, a rating out of five stars, I probably would give it about a 4.7. The only drawback that I had with, with it is you're sitting with other people. For me, we're trying to film videos and do stuff. Mm -hmm. and it was I didn't want to be rude and film people, so we didn't film as much as I would have liked in there, but it was still fun and a cool place. Yeah, I think I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was so cool, so worth it. Mm -hmm. It was just to see Jace's face yeah. when he got his drinks made it all worth it. Mm -hmm. It was really, really cool to try something new and also the be there when the park closed. Yeah, that was nice. But like Carter said, we did have to sit with people. Yeah. And that kind of like wasn't the greatest. They were nice. They, yeah, they were. You know, there was yeah. no issue or anything like that, but we like to film and it was yeah. just I didn't want to be rude to, to other people and like yeah. put a camera at Jace, which is filming other people. So. Right, right. But guys, that is it. We hope you guys enjoyed it. I would highly recommend it. Oh guys, it's a fun place, guys. So we'll see you guys later. Hit that like button, subscribe. See ya.